Trading Pokemon is easy with surprise trades. You just never know who you might trade with. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to be going over the surprise trade mechanic inside of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, I am getting my information from the official Pokemon Sword and Shield website. I'm going to have a link to this news article in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But just to sum it all up, surprise trades is basically one of the trades with brand new features inside of the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield games. In these games, you can use the Y comma to do things like trade Pokemon and have link battles via the internet or local communication. Now, Y comma looks like a inventory, you probably press Y to bring it up, and basically means your communications tab where you can link trade, surprise trade, swap cards with trainers, link battle with trainers, view profiles, and then also search stamps. If you see a stamp pop up during your adventure, it might be a sign that another player is looking for someone to connect with. You'll be able to trade and have link battles with friends by checking these stamps, but they can also be invitations from people you never met before. So again, a great way to search stamps and to see trainers who want to do trades, who want to do battles and stuff like that. A great way to dive into the Pokemon community and see people who are actively playing. This is gonna be pretty cool. It says one of the features available on the Y comma menu is the surprise trade. Select a Pokemon from your boxes that you are willing to trade and that's it. A trade partner will automatically be found as you continue your adventure. So you're gonna be able to select a Pokemon that you wanna surprise trade or go on by your business and then once that Pokemon gets pulled into the system of surprise trades, it will be traded. No longer the days of sitting in a lobby where you're doing wonder trades and you just have to wait for the connection, wait for the trade to happen, wait to find a partner. It's gonna be all happening simultaneously while you out doing your adventure. So you can select the Pokemon to surprise trade and then jump into a battle, battle a trainer or NPC inside of the game. And then boom, your surprise trade was happening while you were doing that battle and you can see what Pokemon you got from the surprise trade. I think again, it's make everything seamless and make it not feel like you're waiting around in menus all day if you do want to take part in this surprise trade feature. It says the game will keep trying to match with a trainer or partner even as you engage in Pokemon battles and other activities like I just went over. You will find while exploring Galar there's no need for you to hunt for a trade partner or feel like you're left waiting. Again, I think this is incredible. It's going to give us plenty of opportunities to complete the Pokedex and do surprise trade of Pokemon if we're looking for a particular one we could keep on surprise trading I think this is a great idea it says these trades can be carried out with players from around the world if you're using the internet but with local communication you can even get a trade from someone around you before you even know what's happening head out to lots of different places and see if you can get a surprise trade. You never know what Pokemon you will get in exchange for your Pokemon until you actually receive it. If you're lucky, you might end up with a rare Pokemon. I think this is pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of the Nintendo 3DS. I'm probably gonna say it wrong, where they had the feature where you can collect stamps and collect puzzle pieces when you interact or walk next to other players who had that feature on their Nintendo 3DS turned on. Where's my where's my 3DS? Let me let me find the game so I can know exactly what I'm referencing. There we go. Street Plus, the whole Me Plaza thing. I think this is is a way for the Nintendo Switch can communicate with other Nintendo Switches in the area. Again, if they're close enough and you have selected a Pokemon to surprise trade with, and someone else did as well, those Nintendo Switches will surprise trade that Pokemon. So again, that is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what experiences this kind of opens up in the Pokemon world and hear from you guys from exactly how this is going to impact your journey through Galar. I don't think it's going to impact me because I'm 
mostly going to be playing at home, probably like most of you guys, but people that do live in big bustling cities like New York or something where you street pass and had to check it every day because it was getting so filled and you only had a certain number that you can have waiting for you i think the same thing is going to go here like people are going to be price trading pokemon locally in bigger cities more frequently but also us connected to the internet is going to be doing it as well remember if you are connected to internet membership in the nintendo switch online paid service is required to participate in link trades link battles using the internet there's no need to set up a membership for local communication use so you still can trade and battle with players if you are there locally but if you are battling online you will have to use your nintendo switch online paid service which to me $20 a year isn't too bad but let me know your thoughts on this brand new surprise trade feature I don't want to say brand new I think I should rephrase that because again to me surprise trade feels like an upgrade to wonder trade but nonetheless let me know your thoughts on surprise trades are you going to be using it in sword and shield I'm definitely am <laughs> until I complete the pokedex I'm definitely going to be using surprise trade kind of like how I use wonder trade but let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below like always guys i enter all comments so if you comment something about surprise trade in the comments we have a conversation also if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you want more content like this hit that subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell as well so you can be notified on the next time i drop a video i'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and if you want to help me get there it's much appreciated i believe we're like at 963 at the making of this video so we just a few away again if you want to help me get there hit that subscribe button peace i love you guys and i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon sword and pokemon shield news update video like always guys i'm daddy and my friend on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one